oil on the palm greased with passion, 64-year-old Sally sinks into not just the body of a client, but your souls. While her finger travels deep into the muscles, regulating blood pressures and relaxing their mind, Sally did not only find passion in massage therapy, but also fortunes. I started working for Swiss uh, and it enabled me to travel abroad quite a bit. And so each time I stepped into the UK, especially in London, I would just hop into um, a body shop. Then there were the trending, you know, shop for oils and scents and all of that. After suffering a retrenchment from a previous job, Sally found her way back into her passion, one that came the same year she became certified. This granted a perfect kickoff point to becoming a professional. 20 years into this, she has earned herself with the name Lady with the Healing Hands. I grew from one room to like a huge apartment, you know, space uh, to practice. And I like to say that like the young people who have known me or whom I have crossed path with. Uh, over the years, they call me um, the masseuse from heaven. Massage therapy in this part of the world is usually considered a luxury. Salis says this is simply a misconception. You may have people who are not aware that the massage can help them and they can pay 10000 Without passing blame, uh, in our medical services, we don't promote massage therapy as part of a complement to whatever else um, our patients you know, should do or whatever else they do. Happy endings, happy beginnings are a common sexual term massage therapists like Sally have to deal with. Demands like these from clients are almost unavoidable they see massage as a sexual appeal therapy. Sometimes you can say no, and you will think it's the end of it. Uh, sometimes you can feel intimidated, and intimidation can also come from, uh, if you like, financial difficulties you may be having. Massage therapy has assumed the momentum of a booming lucrative venture in Nigeria while many are on the verge of tainting the image of this sector with the conversion into sexual practices as a side attraction, practitioners like Sally want a proper regulation and intervention to reduce the work hazards, especially for the female gender. Adishawal Dushoga reporting for News Central.